I wanted to do some more penetration testing using uh, Mediterranean and Red Overall. And I'll be testing around with a 30 pound, actually, this was 40 pounds? 35 or 40 pounds, I can't exactly remember. It's pretty stiff. Uh, quite thin. And then I'm going to try with a. This is a 30 pound. 30 pound, a much wider bow. So much more like a English longbow in thickness. And then finally, with this relatively weak, I'll say 20 pounds uh, bow, which is very, very wide and has a cutaway on this side. So if I shoot the cradle draw on this side, it should be a lot. It should be a very noticeable difference. So I'll start off with the small bow and move my way up in size. I'll be shooting from the same distance and I'll be... The last time I noticed that I was doing a lot of variation in draw distance, I said in the video that I would be doing a full draw. I was doing this. But as I looked at the shadows, it was more likely that I was doing something between always this and this. A little variation. Which, at the end of the draw, caused a lot of difference in the you know, penetration because of the draw force curve. So I'll be trying to keep a relatively uh, equal draw. So I'll be focusing, focusing on that. Okay, first, small bow, 40 pounds, mid-training draw, three arrows. Penetration test. Oh shit, it broke. Yeah, this arrow is. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, it, it, it penetrated. Okay, two arrows, two arrows. Same distance, same draw distance, hopefully. Oof. Almost missed. Complicated a lot to the left. Uh, one more time. That's on me. I'm not very good at this. Yeah. Penetration was noticeably smaller and had a hard time hitting, but that was on me. So, that was Cradle Draw. Now moving on to another bow. This is a 30 pound bow, much wider, so even though there's less penetration, we should see a greater dif difference in uh, the offset angle of the arrow. I'll take a break. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Some creepo called me and just breathed very heavily on the phone. I don't know why, but. Uh, 30 pound bow, much wider, shooting same distance, same draw distance, and uh, well, same draw distance for the Mediterranean and Cradle Draw, not for the same as the other bow. So, first two arrows, medieval draw. Consistent. I gotta say, it. No, I'll just see it afterwards. Okay, 
symbol, same distance, same draw distance, cradle draw. The, the string doesn't snap on the forearm, and the fletchings don't tear up your, well, the back of your hand. So I really, really don't like shooting with a tree, if I can help it, on a bow without some kind of arrow shelf. Which is, incidentally, our next bow. This thing is quite weak, but it's quite, it's quite efficient, so it's... I haven't tested the efficiency of the bows, but I would say this is at least 30% more efficient. But it's like 50 pounds, maybe. Additionally, I've installed a, if you call that a rail extension, <laughs> where normally I could draw about this much to the arrow is the, the end of the bow. But with the addition of the rail extension there, I can draw an additional little bit. And the longer the arrow, the more I can draw. So it's actually funny because the bow starts stacking around here. So I'm I'm pulling against the stack. So that's it's giving a lot of performance back. But also very it's also very vibration heavy. So I install a damp bridge. So whatever. I'm gonna be shooting about the end of end of the uh, bow here. So I'm ignoring the rail extension. And because I have an arrow shelf on this side. That should help quite a bit with um, the efficiency of the arrow leaving the bow. Whereas on this side, it's very wide. So there should be pretty noticeable difference again. Okay. Same distance, same draw distance, Mediterranean release. Oof, I like shooting this bow. Let's see. Not a lot of penetration, I would say about a couple centimeters. I don't know if you can see it. Not a lot. But it's a very weak bow, so that's to be expected. And finally, cradle draw. Same draw distance, cradle draw, two arrows. Oh, wow. That's a little better, I think. No? That's not a variation, that's confusing. Uh, Arrows are quite a bit to the side. This one's quite straight on, actually. I'm penetrated a lot better. I'm a little bit confused about that. This one was pretty terrible. Let's give it one more shot. I'm sort of curious what happens. <clears throat> Looked like we had a pretty poor. Performance on one arrow and the other one is okay. Okay, same distance, same draw distance, same bow, cradle draw. Trying to do a clean release. Notes it on. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. So. Did not even clear the field tip this time. I think the previous arrow, which went a lot deeper, might have hit an existing hole. Maybe. Let's do one more time. Uh, actually, no, that's not. Let's do one arrow, Mediterranean, one arrow, cradle draw. Let's do it very close distance so we can see. So let me just. Here, I'm not able to find this point again, but if I shoot one arrow and one arrow, it should be fine. So, Mediterranean, super close distance. I'm actually kind of nervous. Okay. I would say. I can't notice any. That's weird. This one is. The bow must have been at this angle. So this one must have been. I don't quite get how the arrow offset works here, but. The top one was the Mediterranean draw. And it's double penetration. Yeah. Let's do one more for, one more for fun. Using a Mediterranean draw, but pulling the whole way because I want to show off this thing. This little slat rail, whatever. So I can draw all the way past my ear with this very short arrow. Normally here, all the way here. So, same distance, um, very deep draw distance. for such a weak bow. <coughs> okay, so what are the conclusions of this little experiment? Um, basically, the wider the bow, <clears throat> the wider the bow, the more the release is offset. And this is without any kind of katra or tsunami technique. So I'm not doing anything to allow the arrow to clear the bow more cleanly because the cradle release so far has been defined, as far as I've seen, as just a regular draw and release. So just let go here. So a katrat would involve a twist of the hand when you're at full draw and then a to loose it and clear the bow from the path of the arrow, allowing to a very clean release. But that wasn't done historically. And yeah, the other technique I mentioned is Tsunomi, which is the Japanese version from Kyudo. Essentially the same, but instead of a motion like this, they do a sort of like that. They, they tense the whole back, the whole back like another bow, and then release that like. I'm doing it very poorly because I don't practice Kyudo, but it, it allows for a very clean release. Essentially, you give a one last... It's like a sling. You're essentially slinging the arrow at uh, the target, like... So, give me a little bit more oomph. So, okay, so I started rambling there. Um, so I'm cutting it off. Conclusions. The wider the bow, the more the arrow is thrown to the side and the more you have to work with the archer's paradox unless you're doing a historical eastern technique like katra or tsunami. I said that they weren't historical, but that I mean, with that I meant that they're not historical to Europe, that, as far as we can tell. Um, I've checked through Toxophilus and The Art of Archery on Essay on Archery and the like, uh, 
and I can't find any references of techniques like that. And usually, all, all techniques that I've so far found seem to suggest that you're always doing it on the knuckle side. So, Mediterranean draw on the knuckle side, not the palm. Um, additionally, when you think about, I've talked about this before, but when you talk about hunting, um, you want a line of sight arrow, essentially. What I mean by that is when I look down, let's say there's a, there's a bush like this, I can see past the branches to the camera. If I shoot in a training draw, I can pretty accurately shoot down the same line of sight. So I can punch through that pretty reliably. With um, Katra and uh, Tsunomi, and Trail Draw as well, you are kind of pushing the arrow to the side. So you're not actually looking down the same same path as the arrow is going. Not even like, not even parallel. In Mediterranean draw, you, in theory, you're shooting parallel because the arrow is very close to your head, and you're shooting the uh, anchor point is on your chin, and the second anchor point or uh, the aiming point, like on a gun, the rear and front sight uh, are very close to each other. So the bow is here, and the front sight is here. The knock is here, and the rear sight is here. So it's it's very close. It's it's near parallel. So you can get that line of sight arrow. You can go through a thick bush, something like this. You can see my eye. Yeah. So go through the bush and go through thickets and not get stuck on branches. Whereas with um, Mediterranean, uh, not Mediterranean, uh, thumb draw technique, you usually have the bow to the side of your head. So uh, Katra pushes the arrow to the side. Uh, Tsunami very violently pushes the arrow to the side. Cradle draw, draw sets the arrow flying sideways through the air. So if there was a very thick bush or a branch or something in the way, it it might it likely will hit the hit the hit it and well get knocked out of the air. So it's it's problematic for hunting. I think I think that was about everything. Now again, well I'll post something again if I think of something. <laughs>